Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. This is Nick, and today we're going to be looking at a game called Action Fist. It doesn't show it here, but I thought it had an exclamation point at the end. Regardless, I've been playing a lot of games with exclamation points, so, you know, I thought I would continue the trend of this excellent Contra-esque action game uh, with some co-op options and such. Of course, since I'm here by myself, I'm going to be playing alone, but I'm... I'm normal on the badass scale, so we're gonna go with that. So we have a choice of two characters right off the bat. Uh, there are a third and fourth, it looks like, to unlock. I'm not sure how you do that. I haven't done it yet. So you can pick between Domingus and Ina. Uh, I've already messed around with Ina. I want to see if Domingus is any different. And I will provide you with the necessary insights. First he stole my favorite scarf, then he took my dog, then he captured my girlfriend. And no one, I repeat, no one, steals my favorite scarf. And we start. So, what makes this game unique? Well, for one, it's actually got polarity shifting, uh, Ikaruga style, and it's got all kinds of sweet power-ups and such. Alright, I had to turn up the sound effects there. And we start off with a sweet triple shot, that's pretty nice. So kind of like Contra meets Ikaruga. Uh, what happens if you double your triple shot? That was dumb. Okay, well, nothing. Uh, so you actually have in the bottom left corner there, uh, underneath your life bar, is a like kind of tiny mini inventory system. Uh, and what that lets you do is switch between whatever weapon options you have at the given moment. Uh, that would be a health pickup, I still have full health so I'm good on that. You can double jump, you can wall jump, and the idea is to match the colors of the things that you're trying to shoot for maximum damage. Sounds simple, but there's uh, always one more... Oh, one more color than you have. Uh, there's, From what I've experienced in the few levels I've played, there's a uh, yellow, red, and green. And yellow and red you generally find quite a bit at the start, and then they mix in green after a little bit. Oh, and there's a red, so let's grab that. And I got penetrate shots, which means I can shoot through more enemies at a time, which is always welcome. Now you can still kill the other enemies with the alternate shots, but it's just not quite as fast. Uh, and you'll see when we get to the boss at the end of the level. Uh, the difference. So for the most part, I'm going to try and stick to proper shooting through proper colors. But if at one point I get confused and or can't, don't yell at me too much. As with just about every game I've played in the last few months or so, uh, I love the music to it. Uh, everything's got a really vibrant retro feel. The art's quite nice. I mean, it's simplistic, but it's not trying to be anything too crazy. I wish maybe the animations were a little smoother on the characters, but that's not a really big complaint. Uh, I don't know what that is. Strength. Okay, I wish I got that on my other slot so it over didn't override the one I had already. Uh, let's see, I got a triple shot on my yellow, so I can probably hit him up there. Maybe? Okay. And that's too high for me, so I can't really do much with that. Uh, if I could get up to that, maybe I could add that to my yellow. Whoa, let's take out this turret thing first. There we go. Strength and triple shot seems like a pretty nice thing to have. At this point, it's probably equally useful to have the yellow with the strength and the triple shot as it is to be shooting stuff with the wrong polarity. Alright, I'm just taking stupid damage now trying to kill those guys. Um, how am I going to get to that box, though? Can I... can't wall jump off of that. I guess I could just... no. Can I do this, maybe? Maybe I can wall jump this way? Do a... 
one jump, double jump? No. It seems like I forfeit my double jump if I wall jump, so I guess I can't get that. I don't know what I did wrong. And there's our first green enemy. Enemies. And we have another section where I need to activate an object. These are kind of cool, like little mini sieges. You hold down this little computer terminal until the thing's done moving. And then you can use that to wall jump off of. Uh, I don't know what that item is that I just unlocked there, but let's uh, throw it in with this because it seems like an effect. Oh, it seems like fast fire or something. Machine gun. Now the penalty for dying in this is uh, extremely lenient. You basically just move back a checkpoint. Okay, come on. Uh, and the checkpoints are quite plentiful, there's like three or four per level as far as I can tell, so it seems like you're not really losing much by dying. But you do lose your power-ups, whatever you've accrued in your inventory in the bottom. So I'd still like to not do that. Why is this so hard? There we go. So those guys are just going to keep coming on forever. There's a health power-up down there, which I'd love to grab. A little confusing how you're supposed to get to it, because it looks like a death pit. Well, it is a death pit, except for right there. But that gave me a couple more units of health, which is always good. This is going to raise up a little bridge I can jump off of. Probably don't need to be firing a aimlessly into that piece of metal. Whoa. Got a Master Chief here is trying to knock me over. I don't know how you get in there. I would like to get those power-ups, whatever those are, but I'm not aware of how you can break through that wall. I think we're about to face our first boss here. This is one game that really, really could use a gamepad. I mean, it supports joysticks and everything, so that's great, but uh, with 360 controller, which is, you know, how I play pretty much most of my games, uh, I had to map it with Joy to Key, and the difference in my gameplay is incredible. Uh, the first time through, I wasn't able to beat this without dying like five or six times. This time, I haven't died a single time. And you'll see, uh, the health damage I'm doing to this boss is quite tremendous with this, uh, machine gun and strength up. And that is the end of him. So, so far so good, still haven't died yet. I also like how they break up the levels, sort of like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, the madman came today, took he all my friends away. What I hated most was his dishonorable ghosts, so I hopped on some wheels and shot at his heels. All this for my Rita May. Concrete Artery Zone. That's a pretty sweet name. Alright, so we've got a gun riding ship level car level. I don't have a green shot, so unfortunately, well, that's at the mercy of those boxes if you get a green or not. I'm not sure if Red is more useful than yellow in that case. I believe they are both equal. They both have strength up. So I may as well just use the one with spread fire since that's probably going to hit more stuff. At least until I find some ships. In which case, machine gun will be more useful. So I've got a battle toad style jump over those barricades. Okay, that was stupid damage. These guys should go down in one shot. Uh, that is actually yellow. Sometimes yellow looks a little red to me, but that's fine. Hey! And as far as I can tell, it seems like the two characters are identical, except for cosmetic appearance. Could always use some health. Come on. Getting a little bored there, waiting for another ship. If you don't have these power-ups, like the uh, the strength and the machine gun and the spread fire and stuff, these ships take a while to kill. So I am very for fortunate to have made it through the first boss, carrying some stuff with me. And in fact, now that I have the controller, this almost seems a little bit easy. Uh, but I'm sure the game will hear my complaint and register that and then start killing me. A lot. I think it's doing that. There we go. 
yellow ships. Not a big deal. I was thinking this would be kind of a cool game to map, like a uh, dual stick shooter actually, like have the control the character with the left and right analog stick and have the right analog stick control the shooting directions. But these are things you can actually accomplish with Joy to Key. I didn't mess with that yet, but it seems like a fun thing to try. Okay, two health power-ups means I'm fighting a boss now. Oh, and a green boss. Terrific. Well, I don't have a lot to do with the green boss since I don't have a green weapon. So I'm going to try my best not to die here. Avoid this electric shock and the missile rocket rain. Get out of there. I got this. Come on. Yeah. This game is really fun, actually. And I imagine playing it with a second person would be also great. He knew the madman's location, so Dominguez took a direct route and met every obstacle. His love for Rita Mae was so strong that he could move in no direction but forward. Ina. River Cave Zone! Awesome color theme. Ooh, I like this. I always enjoy when they do that little, like, weird effect with the water like that. It's like such an SNES era uh, screen effect, but it looks really cool. Alright, so looks like we got a little bit of platforming maybe to do here. I'm not sure how to do this. I guess I gotta jump off this wall and hope I don't land in the water. Because I'm gonna guess, probably can't swim. I never can. How the hell do I do this? Can I really make upward progress like that? I don't think so. Um, maybe that's the way? No. I'm getting a little confused with this. Maybe I can just double jump. Yeah. Okay. I'm overanalyzing things. I just need to double jump this gap. The path forward is not always laden with wall jumps. Something I must learn by now. Another strength and a red? You're screwing me on the green. Alright, what do I do with these? I gotta make steps? Yeah. That's not too complicated of a puzzle. Um, okay. Oh wow, there's even reflections. Look at that. How pretty. That is a massive Contra laser. Um, machine gun fire from my yellow. I like having the spread shot, actually. I think that's pretty cool. Nice. Totally obliterated those robot guys. Now I thought we were looking for a scarf here, that was like our mission, but it looks like I'm wearing a scarf now. I mean, I won't judge, maybe this is not quite as obvious as it appears. These guys are kind of hard. They seem to have a protective shield on them. I would like to fire that blue laser at stuff. Okay, I'm glad that they're not mixing it up with, like, even more colors. Because just having three is, like, already... There's always one that you can't really mess with. Oh, what am I doing? I need to jump up this. This is kind of cool, these barricades that you have to shoot down. red up here. Oh, this block just appeared out of nowhere. I'm actually on full health for once, so that's good. Doing pretty good for color matching so far. I think I'm gonna have to use this to hopefully, yeah, not get shot. I like that they actually made a collision animation for that laser hitting that platform, because I figured it was just gonna go straight through. It's like nice attention to detail in this game. Everything is very consistently well rendered. Except for again, maybe some of the character animations, but that's a stupid thing to be upset about, because it looks fine. I could actually see this game making for a pretty nice, like, Xbox Live Arcade release. Depending on how long it is. I mean, obviously it's got to be long enough to warrant paying five or ten dollars for, because as it stands right now, it is freeware, which 
which is always a great price for a game. Although, when a developer spends time and effort working on a game, which I imagine they did quite a bit with this one, they definitely deserve to be compensated for the time. Alright, so now we've got some timing puzzles here. Nothing I can't handle, or maybe it is something I can't handle. Uh, good. That actually did a shit ton of damage. Um, what's up with this wall here? Can I, like, fire through this? Oh, I can run through this, I guess. Those, uh, lasers up above that I just ran past, that one sort of reminds me of the Fireman level from Mega Man 1. They had a similar pattern to their fire, I think. Okay, another health. Staying alive! I'm doing really good, at least compared to my first run through. I didn't get that far on my first run, by the way. I only got to the second boss-ish before I gave up. But there's a lovely continue feature, which will keep you uh, going. I'm not going to risk getting hit for a lot of damage to get that health. Oh, wow. That's, that's an impressive looking boss. We need to get under here. That's not doing any damage. Oh. Got it. Okay, that would be instant death. That sucks. I made it so far without dying. And now I have default weapons again, which means I'm gonna suck at this boss. Alright. Well, it is what it is. I wish I could have made it through that without dying, but I did. Okay, looks like he still takes a shitload of uh, damage. I needed to really get out of there. But I think I may have been still on invincibility frames when that was taking place. Okay, now is the time I need to get out. Pretty cool boss. Seems like they definitely worked on this one for a while. Alright. Uh, oh, crap. I'm dead. I'll give it one more shot. I would love a, uh, like a 45 degree angle Samus shot in this. That would be helpful if I could aim up at an angle so I didn't have to get in the way necessarily to shoot things above me. No, I need to get under. That's not the way I do that. That is apparently the way I do that, and it looks like I'm setting myself up for failure again. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know which side is going to go up. I have zero health. And that will be that. So I think we're going to bring this episode to a close at this point. The world is frozen! So thank you for watching another episode of Indie Impressions. Make sure to go over to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Indie Impressions, so you can stay up on what's new with the channel. I update every night's video on there, and you can leave comments and stuff. And I also have a Twitter, uh, at Indie Impression, and at Rockley Smile for my personal one, so you can listen to me talk about indie beards and stuff. It's a good time. But thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another one.